Minnesota farmers know it, gardeners do too. The average low temperatures in our state are warming quickly, especially in the past 10 years. Because of that shift, some scientists are now sounding the alarm. They say Minnesota's northern forests are on the brink and could disappear within the next 50 years. So what are they doing about it? WCCO's Aaron Hassan looks into it in this next weather investigation. Forests of the future. This is two-year-old gnarly pine. Are forged right here at Minnesota's Lone State Forest Nursery near Akeley. We have about a four to six week window to get them out of the ground, packed, shipped out to the planting sites before they wake up. It's go time. That's right. Like clockwork. It's time for the annual spring lift. We're giving more, you know, homes for wildlife. We're doing a lot for our communities also. But this year, the stakes are higher and the philosophy is changing because scientists say Minnesota's North Woods are on the brink. The pace of adaptation is too slow to keep up with climate change. Julie Ederson's research at the University of Minnesota Duluth reveals the warming temps are stressing our forests. We have been thinking about what we can do now to help our forests transition as climate changes around them. And if that help doesn't happen now, she and other researchers say the deep, dark boreal forests we know in northern Minnesota could become mostly grasslands within the next 50 years. The forecast is pretty grim. The boreal forest, no matter in any scenario, is gone. I've gone through the tears, I'm watching things die, and now I'm in the let's get it done here at the state nursery. They plan to lift two and a half million of these little trees this year and they'll double it to five. They're hoping by next year. But to solve this problem to create these forests of the future, experts say we really need all hands on deck. Grew up on the land and I've been working it my whole life in one way or another. Farmer Stefan Meyer is answering that call here in Willow River. He's part of a co-op of small growers selling trees to the Nature Conservancy, a nonprofit devoted to aggressively reforesting across the country. These are the acorns. These are red oaks. But experts say we don't just need more trees. We need the right ones. I'll have somewhere around 13,000 trees. Basically, I'm going to double my tree production. These seeds should produce climate smart trees, a diverse set of species that should be hardy enough to withstand a warmer, wetter climate. Trees do naturally migrate um, over time, but it takes centuries for them to do it on their own. What we're doing is we are trying to speed that up dramatically. The idea rooted in Ederson's research is to collect seeds from an area and plant them roughly 150 miles north north of where they came from. Call it human assisted migration. When we planted them up in the north, they thrived. We are seeing things change very rapidly. Um, this region alone in the last 20 years has moved up to planting zones, uh, which is huge. So we need to be thinking like, okay, what's this tree gonna be dealing with in about 20 years? The state agrees. Because of that, the nursery is growing more hardwood trees, which are supposed to do better in our changing climate. But Tilma says we won't just need more growers, we need more people willing to plant on their property. About 75% of the available open lands for tree planting is on private lands. When demand grows, so will production, he says. I think what's really important, though, is to anticipate changes in the climate and to make our forests more adapted to those changes by diversifying. But some say it's a race against time, a race against rapid changes that could alter Minnesota's north woods forever. This is a movement to get people engaged in this broader vision of reforesting our landscape. I do think there is time for us to still take that action, um, but things are changing quickly and we need to step up. We really need to step up. With photojournalist Mike Durenberger, Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO News. If you have a cabin or hunting land, the DNR has a 500 tree minimum order. However, if you have a smaller chunk of land, you can plant hardy trees like red oak, white pine and yellow birch. Also, considering donating time or money to groups like the Nature Conservancy.